Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for choosing to be with me in this present moment and for receiving my energy. I appreciate each and every one of you watching this video and I'm sending you so much love and light. Good morning for me. It's very early in the morning right now. It's 6.30 in the morning and it's a Monday, so the start of the week and I wanted to try something different. Um, I wanted to share little snippets of my week with you as somebody who is on the awakening journey, um, somebody who's just trying to make sense of her healing journey. I thought that I would show you guys how I practice mindfulness from time to time, daily. Um, this is a very special week because a month ago I had an idea for, um, it was just it was such a wild idea. It was for um, an app, and obviously I don't have a tech background, and so when I had this idea come to me, I was like, what am I gonna do with it? Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to let it you know, pass me, so um, this is actually the week where I am validating my idea, so that means that I'm speaking to users before you know, going to the drawing board and creating the product, basically. So this is a very special week. So I'm just enjoying my cup of coffee. And I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the process, the sacred process of birthing an idea. Throughout this whole entire thing, what I've learned is um, to actually sit take some time to sit with this idea and honor it and I remember when the idea first came to me I was so I was feeling so overwhelmed because I wanted to birth it so quickly because I didn't want anybody else to get to it before me and I'll talk a little bit about the idea once it's validated and things are you know kind of like falling into place but essentially I realized how important it is to treat the idea itself as an entity, as a being, and actually sitting with the idea um, and understanding that this is a co-creation process. Like when I was feeling overwhelmed, I just took a minute, I paused and I, I talked to the idea like it was a person and I was like, you know, okay, I see you, I hear you, um, like thank you for choosing me to birth you, um, but I need you to be patient, I need you to give me some time because I'm, I'm trying to make sense of you, but I, I see you, I feel you, and I know that you're here and thank you for choosing me. And yeah, I think after I kind of sat with that and I talked to the idea and treated it as, you know, a founder of the business essentially, um, and treat it as a conscious being was when things started to fall into place. Because when I first had the idea, I was, you know, alone. It was literally like 10 p.m. at night. And I remember like getting so excited, but I didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to do with it. I was so frantic and frazzled. And when I kind of, you know, talked to the idea or I guess talked to the, you know, universe source, um, that's when I kind of felt like my, my vision was clearer. People were brought to me like, um, one of my best friends is actually my partner and I didn't think that she would be in on it at all, you know, but when I slowed down was when things started to actually progress and move faster. So this is why I love the practice of mindfulness, right? It, it asks you to slow down. It doesn't ask you to just keep hustling and hustling and hustling but it actually asks you to take a pause, to take a moment to reflect. And when I did that was when this idea just became so clear and now here I am, you know, this week we're talking to so many users and because it's an app, we do need to validate the idea and we need to make sure that it's, it's something that people want and that there is a market for it. But yeah, I'm gonna continue drinking my coffee, enjoying the sweet morning air, although there is a plane somewhere. And I will see you guys later.
Hello, midweek check-in. How are you guys doing? I wish you could answer me. It's only Wednesday, but I've done a lot this week. It's It's been a productive week so far. Um, I wanted to come on here to talk a little bit about the amazing psychic surgery energy clearing session that I had last night with Lauren on Earth. That's her Instagram name. Um, I'm going to leave her links down below in case you want to book a session with her. I haven't even talked about it, but it was amazing. Um, essentially, it's just like a one hour energy One clearing. of the first things that she told me yesterday right off the bat was, you know, your guides are pointing me to your throat. And I was like, yep, basically started off the week with a sore throat and have no idea why. But of course, there's always a reason. It's so interesting that some people don't believe that your mind, body, and soul are connected. Like what happened to me this week is a great example of that. You know, we're talking to at least 12 to 15 users this week. Like we have so many Zoom calls and this is the week that my throat chakra is being activated and I'm leveling up in a new way and I think it was my body's way of trying to catch up with the energy. She also talked a lot about moving through fears this week and also the coming weeks and the coming months and years obviously this is something that is a new venture for me so obviously I I am going to move through a lot of discomfort and I'm gonna be growing and stepping out of my comfort zone. And I asked her, I'm like, okay, so is all, all of that cleared? And she's like, yes, I cleared your blocks, but for the fears, your guides are saying like, this is something that you need to move through and um, you will learn a lot about yourself through feeling these fears. And that was just such an interesting perspective for me because we get into this mindset where anytime we feel scared, we just want to get out of it and we want to overcome our fears and we want to release them and we don't want to feel them. A lot of the fears that you feel and a lot of the fears that come into your life are actually teachers. They are not meant to be released right away. You're actually supposed to meet them and see them and ask them like, why are you here? What am I supposed to learn through this? I'm not one to want to sit in my uncomfortable feelings for a long time. Obviously now being on this healing journey, I've learned a lot about that. Whenever uh, emotions come up that are not exactly love and light, you know, they're kind of like the heavier emotions. They don't make you feel good. Um, but those emotions come to you with feedback. They come to you with information. So if you're feeling any type of fears right now or uncomfortable emotions, don't be afraid of them. Just take a moment, reflect and pause and ask those emotions. Treat it as a being and ask it, what do I need to know? What am I here to learn from this? Why are you here? Why are you coming up? You know, I honor you, I respect you and I wanna learn from you and I hear you, I see you. All of these emotions want to be acknowledged and that's, really the only reason why they come up they don't come up to be ignored or to be screamed at or you know for you to tell them to fuck off like I, I used to do that all the time i'm like why are you here why am i feeling this way like you know get out of my field but um yeah it's an it's an important lesson for all of us to just honor whatever we're feeling in the moment and to be kind to the emotion and to ourselves I've got some more calls to get into today, right now, so I'll see you guys later. Hi, beautiful friends. Okay, it's finally the end of the week. I'm still getting used to vlogging. I feel like there are a lot of things that happened during the week that I didn't vlog and um, I'm getting used to this type of format, but I'm very tired. It's been a very, very long and productive week. Um, we spoke to so many people, got amazing feedback, amazing insights, 
and I learned a lot about myself too throughout this week. One of the things that I feel I really truly learned is the importance of speaking to your inner child from time to time and just telling your inner child that she is okay, that she's safe, she's protected. Because I think when you are leveling up and you're showing up in a very different way than you're used to, it gets uncomfortable. And especially when you are doing the things that I'm doing, which is, you know, talking to users and um, really just coming up to people, asking them questions, or even asking them if they're interested to be interviewed and stuff. And many of them just either ghost you or they say no to you or they say I'm not interested. And it can definitely bruise your ego. But for me, I think more than anything, it resurfaced a lot of inner child wounds and um, that type of similar feeling of being left in the playground, right? Where people don't want to play with you. And I'm really, really thankful for my mindfulness practice because if it weren't for me being self-aware, it would be so easy to just, you know, run with those types of emotions and um, those types of feelings of, you know, feeling abandoned and rejected. So, Again, if you're going through a similar thing, for me, what has helped me is to just take a pause, hand on your heart, just talk to your inner child like you would talk to a little kid. And for me, I just, you know, tell my inner child, like, I know this is uncomfortable. I know this is something new for you. And even though it may seem personal, it's not personal at all. It's okay, you're safe, you're protected. You're just growing and growth is meant to be uncomfortable. So it's okay. You're, you're allowed to have fun, make this fun. Life doesn't have to be serious. And I kind of feel like that's my mantra this week. You know, it's just like, it's allowed to be fun. It's allowed to be effortless. It's, it's allowed to be easy. So thank you so much for joining me through this week as I reflect on my days and just constantly learning more deeply about myself through showing up in life as best as I can. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this type of format of content. I'm really just trying to authentically share my healing journey with you guys and trying to be a little bit more open and honest. And I've really enjoyed trying my best vlogging. I feel like the more I do it, the more I will feel better. If this is something that you love, if this is the type of content that you're interested in, definitely give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel because more of these types of content will be coming your way. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear how your week went. I love you guys and I will see you next week. I hope I'll see you next week. Bye.